This is how Renee Christian spends nights she doesn't have a home care worker to help her into bed. This is not something that I asked for. I was born this way and I can't get people in the door. Like many others, Christian depends on home care workers to live her day to day life. But due to the home care worker shortage, she's been forced to go days without help. I think it's unfair and I think it's unconscionable. It makes me think that we are, you know, that that as a society, we're failing each other. Home care workers are paid just above minimum wage. Many local leaders think low pay is the reason for the staff shortage. And it requires somebody who has a lot of compassion, who really cares about this work. And um, but it's physically very, very demanding. And I, when you can make the same amount of money working at McDonald's or Starbucks, you know, it's it's hard to keep and retrain qualified, compassionate people. We need to compensate them properly. We need to compensate them as professionals for what they do. And we need to make them proud of what they do. That's exactly what the Fair Pay for Home Care Act aims to do. That will require that Medicare reimbursement be 150% of minimum wage, which will go, I think, a long way to toward um, attracting people. The bill is currently in committee in both the Assembly and Senate, with nearly half of both the Assembly and Senate already sponsoring it. But Assembly members say they are working to get it moved to the floor as soon as possible. They asked that particular chair to put a little priority on this because of the extreme need. I'm hopeful that this gets addressed uh, this spring. Olivia Proya, 7 News.